don't need a pilot's license, and you don't even need a runway. It looks awesome from down here. Such a great feeling and just the best view ever. In normal aviation, you don't get to fly this low to the ground that often, so oh. uh, getting to do it in this point of view is spectacular. There, can you see it? It's just there. It looks wrong, you know, my brain can't quite get a handle on the movement. I'm used to seeing how cars, motorbikes, airplanes move. This just moves differently, it's disconcerting. It's weird. I mean, it's awesome, it's weird. If you've ever played a video game, you can fly this thing. It's one joystick, seriously. Starting price, $190,000, and for now, the battery life is only around 20 minutes, the range only about 20 miles. Pivotal says that will improve. Sure. What are we calling this? We call it like an aircraft? We call it a yeah, flying car? Yeah. I mean, what is it? So technically it's an EVTOL, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing You aircraft. need a sexier acronym, yeah. or a sexier name. Yeah, sure, exactly. Right. And why don't you put some wheels on it and actually make it a flying car? We definitely don't have the weight budget for wheels to be taken on the road, unfortunately. Disappointed, Ken. <laughs> One pilot told me flying a Cessna is like driving a sedate sedan. Flying this is like riding a motorcycle.